What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video, I'm pretty excited because I have a cool little review for you guys. I finally got my hands on the Rare Wicked Lasers Expanded Slash Enhanced 10-Piece Lens Kit for Spider S3 Laser Pointers. So, this is the biggest lens kit they've ever offered, and it's no longer available, it's been discontinued, which is why it's so rare. It basically includes all the lenses they've ever made for the Spider 3 Laser. And the reason I call it both expanded and enhanced is because I'm not sure what name they use for it when they originally used to sell it. So over time, Wicked Lasers has offered a bunch of different size lens kits for the Spider 3 lasers. One of the first setups they had was kind of like a box that had the laser and the lens kits in it all together in one. Then they moved to having the lens kits as a separate purchase for $50 additional fee. You got the expanded six piece lens kit and that's the one that they still offer on their website to this day. That's the one you see most commonly, and that's the one that has the important focusing lens, the galaxy lens, the plus and minus sign, the flashlight, and the floodlight. And then for a little bit, they started offering what they called the enhanced lens kit, and that was four little additional lenses, the ones that you see right here, and they were kind of some like cool little spiral um, effects. They were kind of cool, they didn't really offer them that long, and then for a short period, they also offered one large 10-piece lens kit, which is what I have right here. So what the 10-piece lens kit basically is, is both the expanded lens kit, which is six pieces, and the enhanced lens kit, which is four pieces, all in one box. And I'm not sure how much these retailed for when they were originally available, but they are no longer available. All of the different lens kits that Wicked Lasers offers comes in these nice little boxes that have um, magnets in them to hold them shut when you are not using them and they also have these nice foam inserts that hold the lenses in place very firmly. The laser I'm going to be using today is a Spider 3 Inferno laser, 750 milliwatts, um, the red color 635 nanometers, and I do have the normal 100% lens on the top of it that comes with it. And all of these lenses are solid metal with glass lenses. They are what Wicked Lasers calls aircraft grade aluminum. They're nice solid construction. I've never had one of these break on me and I've had about four different lens kits. Um, those are these six piece lens kits. This is the first 10 piece I've ever had, but I've never had a lens break on me. And if you guys ever do have your 100% lens break or you lose it, you can get a new one from Wicked Lasers for about $15. That's what I did when I had mine. Um, I lost one of my 100s. And I emailed them and they were able to send me a new one for $15, so just wanted to make you guys aware of that option. So starting with the lenses, this one right here is the focusing lens. It basically makes your laser create a, a focal point where the beam is very focused in, the dot is extremely small, and that's about one to two inches away from the front of the laser. And when you're using this, you can light matches and burn plastic almost instantly. So this one's probably the most useful and the one that a lot of people are looking for because they want to burn stuff. Obviously you do have to use proper safety when using a laser and wear safety glasses. The next one up is going to be the floodlight lens. It's kind of like a big flashlight. And you guys are only going to see kind of like a half moon here because my Inferno has a very slightly crooked beam. And because of that the light passes through this at a slightly crooked angle and it creates kind of like a half moon instead of the full circle. It only does this with the floodlight lens and the flashlight lens. None of the other lenses have a problem with the crooked beam, they all look fine. And this next one up is the flashlight lens. It's kind of like a smaller version of the floodlight and it's a more, um, a smaller circle, a more like little focused in area so you're getting more light in a smaller area. Uh, I don't use these two that much just because the crooked beam only makes them a half moon and they don't look that good. But the next one I want to show you guys is one that I do use a lot, and that's the Galaxy Effect. And this one's really cool. You see this a lot with those little cheap $5 lasers, and I'm glad that Wicked Lasers has a version of this lens as well. It basically splits your one laser beam into dozens of laser beams, and if you ever get the chance to use this one on a foggy night, do it because it looks amazing. It looks like you can see every beam perfectly, and it just looks really, really cool seeing all those beams right in the air coming out of the laser, so I would definitely suggest trying that. And this next one is one of my favorites as well. This is kind of like that horizontal one that looks like a minus sign. I believe they call it the line lens. It reminds me a lot of the little barcode scanners at the grocery stores, and I like this one a lot because that line is so perfect and so bright and so horizontal. It almost looks like you're looking at a laser beam like from the side horizontally. 
So this next one isn't necessarily one of my favorites. It's from the four piece enhanced lens kit and it's not really that bright. It kind of makes like a grid with a bunch of little squares, but you can't really see it that well. It's kind of like there's a very bright plus sign in the middle and then you can just kind of see all the other little squares on the outside. So this one's not one of my favorites and maybe that's why they put it in the enhanced kit that got discontinued because not many people liked it. This next one is kind of like the sibling to the line lens. It's the cross lens and it's two lines forming a plus sign or you could turn it a little bit and make it into an X. It kind of reminds me of like the X from one of the X-Men movies I think. And this one's okay but in my opinion it's not as visually impressive and as bright as the line lens. So these last three lenses are all from the enhanced lens kit. This first one is called the spiral effect and it kind of reminds me of like a hurricane when you um, when you see it on that radar and they're showing you the weather forecast. That's what this one reminds me of. The next one is called the flare effect and it's kind of similar to the spiral effect but it's more defined and the lines are a bit longer. And this one I think is also really cool, especially when you spin them. I think it looks really neat. And the last one is kind of unimpressive. It's called the radial effect. And it's not that bright. It's kind of just like a little bullseye. This one would be cool if you were trying to like um, do bow and arrows at night and you had like a flat surface like the side of a barn or something. You could set this one up pointing at the side of the barn and use it as a bullseye. So moving on to the reviewing aspect, it's hard to um, talk about the price because I, I'm not sure how much these originally were before they were discontinued. And unfortunately I don't have a link to provide you guys to buy these. You will have to kind of just like scour eBay and other um, secondhand sites looking for something like this because they no longer sell it. But who knows, maybe they'll bring it back someday. I like the quality of these a lot. I think they're great um, as far as the durability and the full metal construction. Like I've said, I've never had one of these break on me. And I think they they give your laser some really cool effects. Now, they are they were probably a bit expensive when they were originally sold because the 6-piece kit costs $50, so the 10-piece kit was probably close to 100. If any of you have any information, help me fill in these blanks like when these were sold and how much they originally went for. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below. I also like the box a lot with the little magnetic clips that keep it shut and that foam insert holds them all very firmly. They don't rattle in there. It keeps them nice and safe and stops them from getting scratched and damaged. So overall, I like this a lot and I, I'm very happy that I got the full collection here and I have pretty much every lens that Wicked Lasers has created for the Spider 3 lasers. Now some of you diehard fans will know that there is still one lens that I do not have in my collection and that is the 20% training lens. I think they used to offer it with this little um, kit right here where you got 7 lenses with your laser. They've stopped making the 20% training lens since and I have seen them up on eBay but the sellers were asking for like $50 and I didn't really think it was worth that much so that is the one lens I still don't have in my collection. But anyways, I did like the um, the lens kit a lot and the box that comes with it. I thought they were very durable and they added some really cool effects. If you guys found this video helpful or informative in any way, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for awesome laser videos just like this. And as always guys, thank you for watching from XM360.